this tip brought to you by EnvisionCAD. In this tip, we'll be showing you a rendering workflow for placing trees, signs, and people into your design file or rendering without the need of a 3D model. What we have here is the MicroStation design file set up. And in this particular file, I have placed some blocks in the design file. And all I'm using is the typical drawing command and then the place block tool. Now each block that I place in the design file is on a particular level. So if I take a look at these individually, element information, you can see this particular block is placed on the level called VizTree and it has a color 74. I've got another block on the same level with a different color. The reason I'm doing this is that when you assign a material or a pattern to a shape, it will look at the level that it's on and the color that it has. So I can place all my tree blocks on the same level, but as long as they have a different color, they can have a different mapping. Same thing with the people down here. I've got a shape placed here, a block. It's viz people color 4, and I've got another one that's by level color 3. And then for my signs, I'm going to be placing a school and railroad crossing sign here. So I've got uh, Viz sign, level 29, uh, color 29, and another Viz sign, color 30. So each one of these blocks is going to have a different mapping for trees, signs, and people. If I uh, zoom out here a little bit and rotate, you can kind of see the layup uh, that I have for this. These, again, are just simple blocks or shapes that were placed in the design file that I'm going to be using to complete my rendering. Now, to apply these materials, all I need to do is go to my Tasks, Visualization, and then Apply Materials. And I've got a palette already set up, and what these uh, settings that I have here, I've got one for the people that I'm going to be placing, and let's just take a closer look at how this is set up. This is basically an image file, and if I take a look at the folder that I have all these images in, you can see here I've got the trees, my coniferous and deciduous tree that I'm going to be placing, and then two people along the sidewalk, person rollerblading and walking, and then the two signs I'm going to be placing. I've got a school bus stop ahead sign, which is a diamond, and also this railroad crossing, which is a circle. Now what makes these images special is that they've already been clipped using um, the color black so that anything that is the color black will become transparent. So you can see in here where you can actually see through the tree and this is again a very special image used for this technique. So when I place these images on the block the areas that are black or white in this preview will be transparent and I'll be able to see through it. And the way that is set up is if I go into each attribute here and then go to the pattern um, settings, there's a little checkbox right here, transparent background. So with transparent background checked, anything in this black area here will be clipped from the image. So to define this, all I need to do is, move this out of the way a little bit, is do a right click and then assign. And what I'm going to do is assign this to one of these uh, shapes that I have placed down here. So I, right now I want to place this on the uh, red shape, so I'm going to select the red shape. And then that person is placed. For the second person, same thing, I want to do a right click, assign, and then select the shape and accept it. Railroad crossing, right click, assign, select one of the signs, school bus, right click assign and then for the trees I've got uh, the larger coniferous tree which will be this one on the foreground and then I'm going to place the deciduous tree behind it so now I've assigned again each one of these to a level and a color And now when I look at this in my smooth rendered view with shadows, and again the uh, display setting that I have set here 
is smooth with shadows. That's the display style I'm using here. Now if I come in here and rotate around, you can see that it, these images are still being applied to the blocks. Look flat, but from the perspective of the camera that I'm going to be using, they do look realistic. So if I go to my uh, view 2, which is going to be my camera setup view, you can see this is what I'm going to be looking for. So I've already got a camera set up here in view 2 and I've got my signs placed in here, the people along the sidewalk, and I'm ready to render out this scene. So I'm going to use the uh, visualization render icon here and I'm going to apply this and create this rendering. So I've got uh, view 2 set up and I'm going to select render. So now with the rendering complete, you can see that the people were placed in the rendering just using a block shape. The signs as well were used just using a block shape. And this is a really easy way to place a number of trees in your design file without having the use of 3D model trees. So hope you enjoyed the tip. For more tips and tutorials, please visit our website, envisioncad.com. Thanks for watching.